Hi everybody, we're going to talk about the halogenation of an alkene. Uh, so this is adding an halogen to an alkene, and here's your basic uh, outline. You're going to have your alkene plus the halogen, and I put XX to represent the halogen. Specifically, that halogen is either going to be a chlorine or a bromine. Uh, so that double bond, that's going to be removed, and the two halogens in this diatomic bond are going to bond to the carbons. That's how we're going to add those electrons back in. So again, break that double bond, add the halogen, and there you've got it. So you now have a single bond, and each of those halogens bonded to the car two carbons that were touching the double bond. So I have four examples for you. Uh, let's take this ethane, there's my double bond, we're going to add it to a chlorine. So that double bond breaks and the chlorine adds to both carbons that were inside the double bond. Let's do another one. This is going to be our cyclohexene. We're going to add a bromine to it. Now, just for teaching purposes, I added that hydrogen. Remember, if I were to draw this, I would just draw the cyclohexene like that. But I drew the hydrogen so that you could see that. Um, so this carbon at that conjunction is bonded to one carbon and then double bonded to the second carbon. There are three bonds, so it has one hydrogen. Uh, same thing for this carbon at that conjunction. It has three carbon bonds, so it has one hydrogen bond. Now we add the bromine to it, it breaks that double bond, and we add the bromine, so this carbon, now each of these carbons, is going to have a bond to one, two carbons, there's still the hydrogen, and now it's a single bond to the bromine. So I wanted to show you, if we were drawing this, you know, I'm not using this as teaching purposes, you lose that double bond and the bromines are now um, going to be attached to that. So that would become a one, two, uh, bromocyclohexane, hexane, because the double bond is gone. Uh, up here, I wanted to do a couple of skeletal structures. Here's my condensed, and here I wanted to do some skeletal. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four carbons. Notice my double bond on the one and the two carbon. Add the chlorine, so that double bond is gone, and we put the chlorine on the carbon that was touching, the carbons, excuse me, that were touching the double bond. And there's my chlorine on the one and the two carbon. Double bond's gone, nice. Okay, so with this one, we have a one, two, dimethyl cyclohexene. We add the bromine to it, and so that double bond's gone. You still have the methyl group, all right? You're still going to have that methyl group. It's just we replace that double bond with a bromine right there. So you're going to have the 1,2-dibromo, 1,2-dimethyl cyclohexane. Nice. Okay, so there you have it. You remove that double bond, and the halogen is going to attach to each carbon that was in the double bond. Very good. So proud of you. Hit that like button and subscribe if this was helpful. Thanks. Have a good day.